Look at this juice. Look at that juice. Juice. Hey guys, welcome to Mad Scientist Barbecue. I'm Jeremy Yoder, and today I'm gonna address something that comes up all the time. I love barbecue, but sometimes I don't have six hours, 12 hours, or even 16 hours to devote to making barbecue. So I have to make something faster because I want real smoke flavor and I wanna eat real meat but I don't have the time to do brisket or pork butt or ribs or something like that. So today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to make amazing smoked chicken where you get smoked chicken that has flavor, it's juicy and it's tender. All three, it's the trifecta of great chicken and you can do it yourself at home. All right, so to get these things ready for the smoker, I've done a couple very simple things. So first of all, I got these at Costco. I think they were nine bucks. So that's a lot of meat for nine bucks. So that's the reason why a lot of people want to smoke chicken because they want chicken, but with flavor, which is actually very difficult to do. So all I've done is I trimmed up around this entrance, trimmed up around this entrance to the back of the chicken. So I kind of cut off a little chunk of kind of the triangular piece of tailbone. And now we're just gonna season it up and it couldn't be any easier. It's 50-50 salt and pepper. And a lot of people ask me this uh, and I'm always confused <laughs> as to why they ask, but they always ask, is it 50-50 by volume or by weight? It's 50-50 by volume because salt weighs a heck of a lot more than pepper. And so if you did 50-50 by weight, you'd have tons and tons and tons of pepper and not all that much salt. So what we want is we want good color and good flavor on the exterior skin, which we're gonna crisp up at the end. We're gonna show you all that process. But then I also wanna get some seasoning on the inside so I get salt to penetrate through the meat from the underside. So it's gonna be really simple. This is how I do it. Now one caveat, 99% of the time when I'm doing catering events and I cook chicken, I'm cooking bone in, skin on chicken thighs. And the reason for that is because I think it's the best cut of chicken you can barbecue. I think you have phenomenal results and that'll be the subject of a future video. But if you're cooking for your family, you may want a whole chicken just because it's got a nicer presentation. It's got, you know, white meat and dark meat. It's got a lot to offer there and it is dirt cheap. So. For this today, we're gonna to do whole chickens. So a similar process that you would use for whole turkey, but there are gonna be some twists that I think will really help you out to make great chicken all the time. So that's all I'm gonna to do to season these chickens and get them ready to go on the smoker. Now, if you wanna be really particular, you can get in there, lift up the skin, try to scrape out fat so you get crispy skin, but I'm gonna show you a way that's much easier and much less involved to get crispy skin on your chicken. And I don't think it's gonna be a barrier to the quality of the chicken at all. I think it's actually gonna improve it because some of that fat that's under the skin is going to baste the meat underneath and you'll have moist and juicy chicken and packed with smoke flavors. So you're gonna have tender chicken, juicy chicken, and flavorful chicken. If you get those three things, that is a winner every time if you're making chicken. All right, so we're cooking these two chickens in the Brazos, but the same principle applies to any kind of smoker you have. We're gonna start at 225 degrees, or if you have a pellet smoker, I might suggest 200 degrees, because at this point, what we're looking for is flavor and a slow increase in temperature. So we wanna do that slowly because you wanna build as much flavor as possible into the chicken because it doesn't have a long smoke time and therefore we have to capitalize on every bit of opportunity we have to add flavor. So 225 degrees, I'm just gonna set them in there like this. Now you can tie a bunch of stuff up with twine, all that stuff, but the point of this video is easy at home smoked chicken. You can go through a ton of hoops, you can jump through a ton of hoops rather, to make sure that you get everything exactly the way you want it. But the point of doing chicken isn't because it's a fancy meal. It's because it's an easy meal that tastes good and is very cheap. So in that spirit, we're just gonna do this as simple as possible. All we used is salt and pepper and I'm burning an oak wood fire. And if you have a pellet smoker, you can use whatever kind of pellets you want as long as they're good quality, as long as they're made with real wood that it says on the bag you're gonna be okay. If you're using a Smoky Mountain, you're gonna be fine. If you're using even a cheap offset, the same principles apply. We're gonna do it the exact same way. So start at a low temperature, in my case, 225, though I usually cook at 275. 
but 225 for the first hour or so, and then we're gonna check temperature and then find out what we have to do to get it finished. And there are gonna be two stages of this cooking process. So this is stage number one, add flavor. Stage two is gonna be get crispy skin and get it to the final temperature that we need. So stage one, underway right now, I'm gonna close this up and we're gonna check back in probably 45 minutes or so. <laughs> So it's been about two hours now and we have really, really good color on the chickens right here. So that deep kind of golden color is because of the smoke. And we want to make sure that now that we have the smoke, we get crispy skin on the outside and we don't want to cook it too long so that all the moisture kind of leaks out of the chicken. So we've been cooking at 225 the whole time. Now it's time for stage two. We're going to cook at 325. So we're going to jump the temperature 100 degrees for two reasons. Number one, we're going to crisp up that skin. Number two, we're going to finish off those breasts. So those breasts are hanging out about 145. So we've got to make sure that those get done. And we're going to accomplish both tasks in one single step of jumping the temperature up. I should point out kind of the beauty of this method is that it's very, very, very simple. Just salt and pepper on there. And I haven't sprayed it at all. And guess what? The dark meat is still gonna be juicy because there's more fat in the dark meat. And because we're not overcooking the heck out of these breasts, they're gonna be juicy too. So when I'm poking the probe in, juice is coming out, it's looking phenomenal. I know it's gonna be really good. I know people, I've talked to people, lots of people have told me that this is gonna be the greatest chicken of all time. It's gonna be chicken like you've never seen. So to build up the temperature, what's that mean? I add more logs to the fire, let it climb up to about 325, and in maybe 15 minutes or so at 325, we should be done. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes and these things are done. They might be showing up a little bit darker on camera than they are, I guess, in person in real life. Um, but to my eye, they look a perfect golden brown, amazing, because that color is from not being burnt, but being smoked. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. So check the internal temperature. The rest were 165, uh, thanks to my handy dandy thermopen. Regular thermopen, you say? No, says I. Guess what? This is an IR thermopen. So I think right now they're on sale for $104.95, so they're already discounted. So I picked one up. Anyway, all you have to do is hit this button and it'll tell you the temperature of whatever the surface is of whatever you're scanning. So for these, when I open this thing up, the breasts were 165, the skin was 217, which tells me, oh, really good fat render on the skin, exactly what I'm looking for. Because when I push this, the skin kind of crackles and pops. That's exactly what I want. Um, normally I would say, well actually, hold on. I got glove liners on. So boom, this is delicious chicken. I cannot wait to get into this. And as, a, as, as you can see, it's, it's still juicy. It's just dripping rendered fat. You see, that's not water, that's rendered fat, which is what makes things juicy. I preach that in a lot of videos. But with chicken, that's extraordinarily difficult to do because a lot of times you'll cook the chicken without rendering the fat properly. I guess, you know, the only thing left to do at this point is try a piece. Now, I could take it inside and try to set it up all pretty and make it look good, but I'm off with that. So there's some things that I'm good at, some things that I'm not good at. That's one of the things I'm not good at. But I'm gonna tear off a leg here. Okay, don't tell me that's not tender. Don't tell me that's not juicy. I mean, actually just, even though it's kind of ruining this, I'm just gonna squeeze this and you just see the juice come out. That's juicy. But the real issue is taste, and now I have squeezed some of the juice out of it. I bet it's still moist, because doing it this way, you maintain moisture. So here we go, let's try this out. Still hot. Oh man, does it smell good though. Perfect. Smoky, salt, pepper, juicy, tender, perfect. As my pappy used to say, you can't beat that with a stick. So if you haven't tried it this way, do it. Two stages of cooking, one at 225, the next at 325, and you're gonna get good smoke flavor in the time when it's at a low temperature, and you're gonna get crispy skin when you cook it at 325 just to finish it off. That's the way to do it. I've tried, I don't know how many different ways to cook chicken, and I've cooked, I don't know, thousands of pounds of chicken for people, and this is the way that they all agree is the best. It's the way that I think is the best, and I think you should try it at home.
Thank you guys for watching Mad Scientist Barbecue. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below, subscribe to the channel, and also follow me on Instagram at Mad Scientist Barbecue. I'll see you guys next time.